the hollow sluice wave went through another bucket. I just dug up like three buckets, three half buckets in the past three days. And I went through them to kind of see what, uh, what I'm into. And this is what I'm into. I get a lot of the, uh, the milky quartz. Just finding a lot of that, as you can see. And it went from milky and it started getting a little bit clearer. As you can see a little bit clearer. Got the white lines in that one. Then where it was up against the wall, we got a little bit of crystallization along with mica. You can see the lines in it. A little bit of mica. I didn't get much of the big mica to go around. This was interesting. That's pinkish. Kind of a rose quartz there. I don't see that too often. But it definitely, it's a cloudy day so it's tough to see. But that's definitely got some pink to it. Started getting some facing on these smaller pieces. This one's covered in that that's staining, but the staining leaves kind of a rainbow effect. Once this dries, it, it's like a rainbow effect. Hopefully you can pick up on some of that. It's getting a lot of that. Check out this crystal. Right there. That's a little bit different. And then look at this crystal right here. It's a chisel cut. But it is a complete crystal on the top of that. That's interesting. Then we got anchorite. All of that's light anchorite. Um, here's a been broken away there but the rest of it is faced. This one's broken away from the back side but the rest of it is faced as well. That's the closest I came to crystals right there. Another one broken. One piece of root tail and the, the stained material Right there, there's crystallization beginning on it. And you can see some structure starting to happen on the, the quartz itself. Then as I went, this is that vein that ran along the bottom. As I followed it, it got smaller, but it got more structured. This staining is still a little bit wet, but when it dries, it will leave a, an iridescence. But you can see that side's faced as well. But that pattern is all around, except for right there, all around this piece. So when I pulled that up, there was another one behind it. I haven't been able to fit it on there, but similar, very similar structure and coloring. And that's going to lead us into the top three, because number three is a continuation of that. But here, the structure on it, it's, it's getting more pointed crystals facing. Instead of that flat, see, it looks like crystals stacked on top of each other. But again, it could be part of this, it looks like. This up here, it feels like it's limonite. I'll get the staining off this piece. So we can better see what's underneath it. On the other ones, I will leave it on there. But on this one, it'll be much prettier when you can see the colors within. Okay, so that's number three. 
Tip number two is this piece. It's like a piece of quartz. And then you got a V in there. Stuck onto it. On top of the quartz. That's number two. And number one is more of that quartz that has been yeah. this is where it broke away and it's even covered in that golden coating. This is heavily covered in it. Now this I'll leave on. It's three-sided. Here's the fascinating thing about this. Right, right here. It looks like a Y. And right here is a keyhole. I believe these keyholes are made from this anchorite because it's the same shape and I find them together. It'd fit right in there if it was larger. But this rhombus has a extension on it. Crazy designs, but that's the number one piece. And again, once it really dries off and we get some sun on it, this will have a lot of flash, a lot of rainbow, even on this side. So that's number one. All right, and that is it for now.